my new book, Stuff and Money in the Time of the French Revolution, uses money to tell a new history of the French Revolution and the French Revolution to tell a new history of money. Now, those two histories have been linked together in the past, but always with a particular way of thinking about money. So by questioning what is a dominant narrative, not just about why the French Revolution happened and what it was, but even about what money is, we end up with a new understanding of both of these fundamental features of modern life. So this semester, I'm again teaching a course called Money and History. My goal for the course is to help students learn to think historically about money. To teach money and history at Indiana University is an exciting challenge because I have many students in the course who are here thanks to the strength of the College of Arts and Sciences. And I also have a large number of students from the Kelly School of Business who are studying accounting, finance, marketing. They've been thinking about money throughout their college career. As one of them said to me, well, money's the bottom line. But they haven't been thinking about money in historical terms. So this is a course that actually facilitates conversation among undergraduates uh, who perhaps otherwise are not that often in the same courses together. They may socialize together, but this is a course that draws students from across the campus. So for me, that's one of the real strengths of IU. Um, and I'm excited that with a topic like money, I can build connections not just to my colleagues in 18th century studies, but to colleagues in the economics department, the Ostrom workshop, SPIA, Kelly, all across campus.